Oh, g'day. I've had a few requests on how to do this, but there's a double jump glitch in Spyro 2. It's not exactly a double jump, because you can't just single... When you do a double jump twice, he glides. But if you jump, charge, jump, and you get the timing right, you can go a lot further, and he does an extra jump in it. So here's an example. Standard jump. You cannot jump over this treasure, no matter how hard you try. With a double jump, you can just fly straight over it. And it's quite a big jump. It does take a few while to get used to it. It took me at least a month to get used to it. Um, yeah, it took me at least about a month. I'm trying to concentrate on this one. Now, not many people like paying money bags money. I hate him. Yeah, I've been practicing. All right. Want to pay some treasure? How about no? No. We don't want to pay you. You suck. I don't think it's fair. Now, it also doesn't matter to, um, except for the Japanese version, but if you're a power line TSC. Look at that. Up yours, money bags. Up yours. I don't like you at all, I see. And you can, with thanks to the double jump glitch, and there's many places you can actually avoid to pay money bags. You can even get up here as well. But you can't get up there no matter how hard you try. Double jump glitch. You can actually make up there. There you go. The tricks with those ones is you actually got to go sideways. And you know, there's so many places you can use it. Honestly, here's a classic example. How you can also avoid not having to um, climb those ladders. We don't even have the ability to climb the ladder yet. But who needs it? So it's all done. And you can just carry on flying. Now there's a few other glitches in this game. Um, including a permanent super flame. You can have quite a bit of fun with that too. That makes it a lot more interesting. But to do that one, you need to have it 100% before. Now, this, this gives you an idea how easy it is. Now, to try the double jump, I'll try and do this with this control. This is really difficult, by the way. <laughs> Um, yeah, just a standard controller, nothing special. Now, if you have, I actually sort of roll my thumb. I sort of just do the jump with both thumbs. So if you, it's just sort of like that, yeah. It takes a bit of practice. You sort of roll your thumb. And there's different timings to it too. You can really work it out. And when you do things like this, you can... You don't have to come back to these levels again. But this is only just a little try. This is the only version you get this double jump glitch. Um, it doesn't do it in Spyro 1, but there is ways of doing... There is an interesting glide technique you can have in Spyro 1 which not many people also know about, which I haven't quite mastered, but I'll try and do my best to give you a demo of it later. And it enables you to glide places you cannot reach. It's really quite bizarre how hard you get. But yes, if, if you are wanting to learn the double jump, start with something simple. This is where actually the best spot to learn from you can make up that jump with a double jump. You can do it really easy. I mean, look at that. See, you're up here. And then literally the whole world is your oyster. And you can go out of bounds. Check this out. You're not meant to be up here. You can go to areas you don't normally... And yeah, you can do all sorts of areas. You explore a lot more with this. So you'll have a lot more fun with it. See it? 
Learn the double jump glitch. Have fun with it. And there's actually also a way of... I haven't quite learnt it yet. There's actually a way of actually getting those without actually flying. Sorry about that. Yeah, do apologise with this dodgy camera setup. I do not have a very high tech computer system. My laptop's old and it's dying. <laughs> so, yeah, best thing is yeah. Anyway, just have fun with Spyro. He's not one of those. I always just have fun with him. If you're not having fun with him, don't don't play it. I've done these games that many times now. I know where all the secrets are. Now I just race myself, but yeah, have fun with the double jump glitch. The third one you do, they did take it out, unfortunately. But again, there's a similar thing with the first one. There's a certain glide. I don't know if you can do it with this one, or it's hard to explain it. But there's actually a, another glide, and you can actually, yeah, I'll explain it in the next in another video. But yeah, have fun with the double jump. Go ruin money bag. Go ruin money bags. Heard him. You can actually. It is possible. I haven't done it, but it is possible to actually complete the game without giving money bags a damn cent. It, it, there is a trick to it. You go watch a speed runner on Spyro 2, and you'll understand how it's done. Anyway, that's the sort of demo of how the double jump. So it's essentially just, it is literally just X and square and you, it's just timing it. You've got to practice the timing. It's literally one straight after the other. It's the best way of explaining it. But when you do it, it is awesome fun and the whole world becomes your oyster. Well, enjoy it.